Hello, Pain Free for Life members. This is Dr. Rob Van Bergen, and I'm back with another Monday 10 minute training. This week, we will have uh, a bit of a strange combination of treatments that we're going to be going over because this request I received lumped multiple differing conditions into one kind of suggestion. And so it made it onto the docket this way. Um, I would personally have broken all these up into four. But too little, too late, I didn't really notice, um, and here we are. So today we're going to be covering these somewhat connected but totally different conditions, dysautonomia, POTS, EDS, and MCAS, or MCAS. Now, first off, that is a lot of abbreviations, so let's break each of them down before we get into treating them. So the first one will be dysautonomia, the only one that's not abbreviated there. This refers to a disorder of um, different autonomic nervous system problems, uh, and it's essentially dysfunction of the ANS, the autonomic nervous system. And this generally involves a failure of sympathetic or parasympathetic components of your autonomic nervous system. Um, uh, but dysautonomia involving excessive or overactive um, autonomic nervous system actions can occur as well. This may not sound like a big deal to many people, but the autonomic nervous system, it regulates uh, involuntary physiological processes, including things like your heart rate, your respiration, your digestion, your blood pressure, even sexual arousal. So this one thing can impact your body on a massive, massive scale. The next thing we're gonna be talking about treating today is POTS um, or postural tachycardia syndrome. It is an abnormal increase in heart rate that occurs typically um, after sitting up or standing. Some typical uh, symptoms uh, of, of POTS um, can kind of include, like, uh, I was trying to pull it off the top of my head here, like dizziness um, and fainting and fatigue. These are the more common ones. Um, now, POTS, I don't want to hold anyone here, is going to be a little bit different to treat, um, and, and I'll get into why in a moment. EDS is Ehlers-Danlos syndromes. Um, it's not necessarily one syndrome, it's multiple, um, but essentially it's a disease that weakens the connective tissues of your body. So these are things like the tendons and the ligaments that hold parts of your body together, but it can also make your joints loose and your skin thin and become easily bruised while also weakening blood vessels and organs. So it's a disease that has a massive impact on your body. And the last one we're covering today is the MCAS, which is mast cell activation syndrome. Many people may have heard of this um, as a mast cell problem, but not know necessarily what it is. This is a condition that occurs when the mast cells in your body release too much of a substance that essentially causes an allergy-like reaction within the body. Uh, mast cells are a part of your immune system, and they're found throughout your body, uh, particularly in the bone marrow and around blood vessels. And when people are exposed to something they're allergic to, including meds, foods, uh, even venom, uh, mast cells typically react by releasing these chemical mediators, and these cause symptoms of an allergic reaction, like itching, mucus, inflammation, right? If you have MCAS, though, your mast cells release these same mediators too frequently and too often on their own without any exposure to an allergen. So that can cause a whole bunch of problems and discomfort and really impact people's lives as well. All right, so as you can see, lots of different conditions that we're talking about today, um, but they all have some similarities. Um, there are some common denominators in treatment and there are some differences as well. First off, for all of these conditions, daily vagus nerve stimulation is going to be a pivotal component of your treatment. I'm going to show you how to quickly do that nice and easily. If you have an evolution or a pinnacle, all you need to do is set your device to 7 to 12 hertz. That's 7-12 hertz. You want to locate the carotid artery. So on the left side of your body, you're going to feel for your pulse. Once you've found it, you're going to place the electrode just behind it, and you're going to pull forward a bit. And you're going to know you found it when you feel a jiggle, which happens in most people, not everyone. Um, and you're going to hold the plus button down until you feel this tingle in your neck, and you can feel a twitching kind of going on. Okay. 
Then you're going to hold it there for just three to five minutes. Very, very easy, but it must be done with seven to 12 hertz. Super easy to do, though. Um, and you want to do it for three to five minutes, and you want to do it three to four times a day. If you do not have time for this, you should be doing it uh, for a one blast session of 15 minutes once a day. Okay. All right. So let's look at individual treatments now for these different conditions. For dysautonomia, there isn't really much more to do. You really want to train your vagus nerve to tame the dysfunctional nervous system. That is the key element to treating dysautonomia. Uh, it's not a quick fix either, and it can take a while to yield long-lasting results, but the important thing is to stay the course. One of the most common mistakes when dealing with the vagus nerve is to lack consistency in treatment. Mostly uh, treating three to four times a day, but, oh, I missed the occasional day, is not going to train the vagus nerve. You really need to stick to it the right amount of times a day for the right amount of days and just keep going because you need to make change in the body and that is not easy to come by. Stick to it to get those optimum results. Now for POTS, this is a bit more complicated. POTS can sometimes be connected to EDS. So what we talked about uh, at the beginning where I said these are kind of not connected, but they kind of are connected as well. POTS often has an underlying cause that is another disease. Uh, the hypermobility of the tissue um, in EDS um, can impact the way the heart works. Um, and it can ultimately mean that in order to treat effectively, we need to treat the EDS, right? The ALS downloads. Um, however, if it's not connected to this, there isn't really much we can do beyond vagus nerve that can treat POTS directly because ultimately we need to find the root cause of the POTS and treat that. POTS can be connected to diabetes, lupus, or anything else, really. Uh, any autoimmune can cause POTS. Um, chances are that if you have another health condition beyond POTS, POTS is connected to it as more of a symptom. Chances are POTS did not occur before you had that condition. Mm -hmm. uh, the primary treatment for POTS other than vagus nerve stimulation is to work on the other conditions you are struggling with. And remember, whatever that may be, there's usually something that microcurrent can do to help. There is probably a microcurrent protocol for that. Uh, for EDS, our best option is to strengthen the connective tissues and use the, uh, the scalar chi here. Um, so the scalar chi uh, is going to essentially be used to work on a reparative level, on like a larger scale on your body. And I would do the core treatments for this. So you would do five minutes on your forehead at seven to 12 hertz maximum power. So five minutes on the forehead, five minutes on the core, and then five minutes on the pelvis. Um, and the, you wanna really do this daily. Um, second thing to do would be to paint over the organs in the body using Santa Soft Tea. This can take a little bit of time, but you don't wanna spend more than 10 minutes doing it. Santa Soft Tea is a pinnacle exclusive mode. It's the best for soft tissue regeneration and repair. And remember, because we're getting thinning soft tissue, we want to be able to boost that up and repair it. So just looking through here for it, um, it's it's in there. Santa Soft Tea. There you go. So many modes in here. So Santa Soft Tea, that's the ideal. Set the device to a comfortable power level and paint over the different organs, um, focusing primarily on the core, right? I wouldn't bother with the brain. Um, and working on that to strengthen those connective tissues. Um, if you don't have Santa Soft Tea, if you have an evolution or genesis, use 77 hertz. This is going to be the best option there. Um, now, the next step would be uh, ideally to use something like the Chi Wave PEMF pad here, the large one, because it covers most of your body on your core. So you can set the device to the same mode, Santa Soft Tea or Santa, um, oh, sorry, or 77 hertz. And you can be able to put this behind your back whoop, and treat most of your core lying down, sitting up. It doesn't matter, but you can do whatever else you want to do while treating it with that maximum power um, on the soft tissue frequencies. Um, this is going to really help to repair and strengthen the connective tissues in the body, which is what you need to do to counteract the EDS. Now, in strengthening the connective tissues, if your EDS is underlying uh, cause of your POTS, you're going to improve your POTS because your heart is going to get stronger. Your blood vessels are going to get stronger. So all good things there. 
Um, if you're looking at specific degeneration from EDS, um, I would say looking at seven to 12 Hertz as another program to run through the Qi wave pad would be a good option. This is just because the different frequencies can correspond to different tissue types. So when you're dealing with things like muscles, ligaments, tendons, they're all different frequencies that they resonate most with. And being able to use those frequencies um, and help regenerate those tissue types is ideal. Um, I have to actually stop this phone ringing. Apologize, everyone. <laughs> that doesn't normally happen. I usually clear the phones out of the room when I'm doing videos. So those are the ideal treatments for EDS. For mast cell activation syndrome, there are two components beyond the vagus nerve, which is crucially important here. Uh, the first is to treat the liver with a soft tissue program. The same we just talked about, Santa Soft T uh, or 77 Hertz. The second is to go to the adrenal glands and treat those. Now, the liver is underneath your right pec or right breast, uh, right along the rib cage. It stretches across to the left side but it's kind of thinner. So it goes down more on the side on the right. Um, it's quite a big organ and you wanna make sure you cover everything there. The adrenal glands are hard to access on the, uh, on the body because they're better accessed through the back. You usually need to go about four inches below the shoulder blades to be able to get these. Um, now you wanna hold the device there um, the reason we're doing this is because the adrenal glands can help to curb the inappropriate allergic reactions in the body. Stimulating each gland for two minutes helps to release the adrenaline. So something like blue stimulation is probably the best option here. Um, but it also keeps the adrenal glands healthy. Uh, so what you're going to do is you go about four inches below the shoulder blade and you place your device, your electrode, right on the adrenal gland and you just stimulate it for a few minutes there. Now, it's important with MCAS, mast cell activation syndrome, to get a good night's sleep. Um, your adrenals are going to be working a lot because they, these are kind of like your body's response to this allergic reaction, right? This is what we want to do, release the adrenaline and get the body to stop that inappropriate reaction. Sleep is probably the best way to recharge your adrenals. So try your best to get a full eight to 10 hours of sleep a night. This is going to really benefit you as well. Okay, so that is a lot of information to unpack, um, but these are the best solutions we have for these conditions. So thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next week for another Monday 10-minute training. And as always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, everyone. Bye.